Broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus, you're watching Mustang News. Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Tuesday, December 3rd. I'm Ashley DeVren, and Mustang News starts now. Monday marked the fifth anniversary of former Cal Poly student Carson Starkey's death. We learned just what the anniversary means to the Cal Poly community and how it has been affected. It has been exactly five years since the death of Cal Poly student Carson Starkey. Carson died from alcohol poisoning at a hazing event his freshman year at the age of 18. Carson's parents started the nonprofit organization Aware Awake Alive. Its mission to prevent loss of life to alcohol poisoning by educating people on the dangers and symptoms of alcohol overdose. The awareness is out there and Carson's story is out there, but unfortunately we still have students that um, are overusing and abusing and I, I'm not here to say, you know, don't drink, but when you're going to drink, drink, drink wisely and be smart about it and, you know, know the signs of alcohol poisoning. Carson's story is shared during Week of Welcome for incoming freshman students. It actually happens to people and you need to be extremely careful and look after your friends. Cal Poly dedicated a bike rack in Carson's honor on Mustang Way to symbolize his passion for cycling. Cal Poly also planted a tree outside of Spano Stadium in Carson's honor in October. We know that that's some place that be special to think about Carson and remember him. Cal Poly President Jeffrey Armstrong says that Carson's story will be impacting students for years to come. The, Cal Poly, or the California State University System recently announced that all 23 campuses will use the Aware Awake Alive program that the Starkey family started. The San Luis Obispo community is still concerned about the impact of a new dorm on Cal Poly's campus. The university held another housing forum in Chumash Auditorium last night where community members voiced their opinions and concerns about the project. The main concerns are still parking and more traffic in neighboring communities. Cal Poly says that creating more on-campus housing will keep more students on campus. The holiday season is now here and the Cal Poly community is coming together to help those in need. The Center for Community Engagement has held the gift drive for several years and works with organizations like the Housing Authority and the Slow Boys and Girls Club. This year, the center has received more than 200 gift requests and they're aiming to fill all of them. It's the best feeling to know that there's a child out there that's happy be because of the gift you gave them. And in, you know, in some sense, it may also be their only gift that they get. So. Kids fill out a gift wish list, which can be picked up in UU Room 217. The donations can range from items for infants all the way up to those in their late teens. You could drop off your gift with the tag in Room 217 until December 6th. Two Cal Poly athletes earned all-conference honors yesterday. The Big West Conference announced Monday that senior Chelsea Harden was selected to the first team, and freshman Taylor Grunewald was named the all-freshman team. Harden is an outside hitter and the 34th Mustang to earn first team honors. She recorded 238 kills on 590 swings and had 28 blocks. Grunewald is the Mustang's middle blocker. She led the team with 74 blocks in her first year. This is the final week of the alumni exhibition at the University Art Gallery. The gallery features art from alumni like Tommy Garcia, Heather Finnessy, Laura Krivka, and Eric Marinovich. The featured artwork includes celebrity photography, New York Times illustrations, wood sculpture, and paintings. The gallery is open from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday in the Dexter Art Building. If you're looking for scantrons or candy this week, you are now in luck. The Mortar Board, a senior honor society, is handing out candy and scantrons for free tomorrow and Thursday. You can find them on the second floor of Kennedy Library. Thanks for watching today's Mustang News. You can find constant broadcast coverage at mustangnews.net. You can also find our weekly half-hour broadcasts on Charter Channel 19, Campus Channel 2, and UHTV Channel 7. Have a great rest of your day, Cal Poly.